Hello everybody, I'm Chris Souls. this is Rob Springs, we're the Beckett basketball team and we're here for a rather timeless and treasured edition of Box Busters. Yeah, it's a little small with the tens, but 2012-13 timeless treasures from Panini America. What do we know? You get five cards, at least, apparently. Some of these are a little more and uh, is it three, three auto or men? Yeah, three auto or men. Different players on the, uh, tens. On the tens, which is always cool when you collect that set. Will our streak end? Uh, I don't know. Wow, this is an interesting pack. It's very tightly packed, so you're not going to have wiggling around problems in here. But you may have a problem getting the pack out of the pack. Cellophane. You can see right off the bat how many thick cards are in the pack. Mm -hmm. I'm going to open my Kobe Anthology pack first. Yeah, we might as well clear that. Watch, we get an autograph to break the streak or something. Or not. Boom, 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 boom. Five Kobe's. That's a cool photograph on that one. No parallels, no That's M's, it. no That's autos. It. The streak continues. One of these days, we're going to get one. Something. Fun product, fun idea. Mm -hmm. I just want to see the variety of it in person. Man. All right, enough of that. Go ahead. All right, we'll do one pack at a time sure. here. Wow. Tight packaging, will we? all black borders on these cards could be fun later on. You can get all my. They do have things hits. like the uh, rookie glass autographs, the revolution spinning material. Drew Gooden. And yes, we will see one of at least one of what you just mentioned in this pack. Kevin Love base card. Lots of parallels. Brendan Roy. Kyle Corver. Then I'll go to the mem side of things. So no parallels in this pack, oddly. A treasured threads. Mm -hmm. Hakeem Olajuwon out of 99. Nice little swatch on the bottom. A out of 25, looks like a parallel. I don't know what the colors are here. Silver parallel mm -hmm. of the glass rookie. Interesting. It's a it's a piece of piece of plastic, but it I can't tell if, it looks like the entire thing is. It's either a sticker on top of the plastic, or the plastic has the Panini Authentic coating on it. So let me find something that will show through so you can actually see the autograph. There you go. And this last one is the standard rookie out of 188. So you can't complain much anymore. No, this is a good, this is a good pack because of the final card. A pretty cool card, actually. Anthony Davis, autograph. Number one draft pick. So the parallel was in my... Autograph, which is cool. Mm -hmm. So not a bad pack. Well, I know you had trouble pulling some Anthony Davis's. We did. In earlier box I know, breaks, we've so. been dry, even on base cards. So it's good to see you. Uh, Glad they got knocked out for you. Exactly. Start with the commons. Base cards. Base cards. Yeah, sorry. Jeez. So Carmelo. I don't like calling them commons. Because Carmelo's not a common. The base bronze looking foiled set. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, I too have a couple of uh, glass rookies. There's a Tyler Honeycutt. I like the look of those. I still haven't figured out whether it's a sticker on top of the plastic or the plastic just has the hollow coating on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess it's already on Both. the on the plexiglass piece. I would, I would think so, but how the heck do they do that? It's interesting. A, Brandon Knight. I don't know if standing them up does anything. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll help a little bit. And I am a valued collector as well. You got shunned. Redemption. A timeless signature, Jalen Rose autograph. He doesn't have a lot of autographs, does he? Uh, they've been using them uh, a little more, a little more frequently, but okay, that's uh, interesting. But still, Old when you get them, that's fun. With the college and the exposure on ESPN all the time. Yeah. So I mean, I I haven't seen enough of this one. I think we just got the preview information for it a month and a half mm -hmm. ago or so, but. Uh, uh, the, the, the plexiglass autographs, if you want to call them that, whatever their official names are, that right there is cool enough that it's different enough that it works for me. That's Forget the fact that it's a solid player, money-wise. I mean, it is, but yeah, no, there's some nice, just a different idea. Nice design components. The base set cards are nice. I've, I, like I've said before, I'm always a fan of the uh, the black-bordered card just because I think it looks nice. <laughs> um, but what's interesting is you know, a lot of people really collect timeless based on 
kind of stuff they've done in the past mm-hmm. with the laundry tags and or the tying the memorabilia to a certain jersey or, or a lot of that yep. stuff. So there's a lot of Continuity. history that's been done between baseball, football, and right. basketball. So it'll be interesting to see how this performs and and how people breaking kind of away accept, from that a little bit. Yeah, yeah, kind of the. Uh, the way timeless has been done in the past, yeah, but it's, the, it's nice. These, these, seeing. it's three hits, at rough, roughly hundred dollars a box. I haven't actually hadn't looked, so I, I was thinking it was around that price. So that's, you know, if you get lucky, you're you're gonna you'll be happy. If you don't get as lucky, you still have three hits to show. Maybe a little more, as you said. They, mm-hmm. Some packs have more cards in them, so you know, I think it's a fun uh, fun addition. The uh, the look is different from anything we've seen this year so far. Um, you, although the color scheme, you might think it's a black, upper deck mm-hmm. black, or a panini black type right. brand, but it's not. But uh, so far, it looks quite different. It looks interesting. Mm-hmm. So overall, I think I give it a thumbs up, at least based on this box I got right here. Of course you do. It's yeah. awesome. No, it's, it's, it's well done. Like I said, we've got to, it's hard to tell necessarily from just a couple of tens. Yeah, it's uh, early on still, too. But, but it's definitely the, a little bit different than the, than what the mem offerings are a little lower in this too, as they've been doing across the board. Right? Yeah, yeah. And so and the like prime said, you stuff have the really go spinny crazy. stuff, and there's also some um, just regular uh, serial number cards. As okay. Some, uh, which a lot of people don't really do a lot of, and at least in basketball, well, a, lot of, a lot of serial number just inserts. Not yeah, doing not autos, fewer. Or anything. Well, like doing fewer. Like on absolute, I was doing the review the other day and looking up some of the prime patch cards in that product. Mm-hmm. They're going nutty. They're going right. nuttier than anything that that product had had in the last few years mm-hmm. because there's fewer of them and they're big, impressive, crazy looking pieces. So when you have less of something, that should help its value. Parallels do fewer parallels. Hopefully, they'll sell better. Mm-hmm. And so I think some of those strategies we're starting to see more and more of this season. So overall, I think it's a thumbs up type situation. Good box in this instance. Mm-hmm. Um, it'll be on an online price guide here in the next 10 to 14 days. Uh, yeah, it should be next Wednesday. Okay. And so the checklist is on there now if you want to look up stuff yeah. and see what's in the product. If you want to actually wait for to see what it's worth, check us out then. So until then, I'm Chris. This is Rob. Just keep ripping.